got this box which I'm using to make my latest cigar box guitar which I want to have a kind of aged distressed steampunk kind of feel to it um, the problem is the box looks too new neat uniform so I want to try and distress the wood and give it more of an aged distressed look okay so how am I going to give this uh, nice pristine box an aged distressed uh, look well this could be a complete cock up um, and it's completely experimental but I'm going to use some of this um, chalky finish paint and I'm going to just throw some on the box so and then the idea being it's not going to be uniform and nicely painted or anything like that it's just going to add some character and I'm going to sand away and scuff up some of the box uh, to reveal the wood beneath the paint so the paint's only going to be in parts and it's going to just look like a, a distressed old box basically that's the theory so we'll see how we go first thing you need to do is open the paint Okay, so this is just um, it's a charcoal you know, graphite, which is the same thing, isn't it? Uh, it's all rotted coal or something. Uh, chalk paint. Um, and I've got a, a little brush, so let's go. Let's let's uh, see what happens. So as I say, this could be a complete and utter disaster, but we'll find out. So the first thing to do is just. Coat it in the paint. As I say, I'm not looking to get a good finish with the paint. I really just want to get some paint into the wood so that I can sand it back later and reveal the wood underneath the paint. So I'm just throwing this on. Um, it's not neat. I'm not that fussed. Uh, I just want to get a good coating all over the box. Uh, and then the actual aging can begin. So I'm not too fussy about putting it down on the surface and you know messing the paint up because I'll be messing the paint up anyway. <laughs> on the box these top edges are visible so I'm going to make sure they have got a coating of the paint as well and also where the neck enters the box box Is this going to work? We wonder. Well, either I've cocked up a perfectly good box, or I will achieve the effect I'm after. We'll find out soon enough. So, another one of the things I'm going to do. Is I'm going to distress the wood as well so I'm going to put some scratches and uh, character into the box um, which I'm going to do after the paint because that's all going to be part of revealing the wood beneath okay so now that the paint is dried on the box and uh, it's time to age it and distress it and I'm going to be using uh, a few different things. The first tool I've got is going to be this uh, wire wool 
uh, drill extension which I bought for a DIY project that uh, we changed our mind and did something else with actually uh, but we'll try that it's, it's for aggressive removal of rust and paint so it might be a bit too harsh but I'll just give it a go and see what kind of effect it gives uh, I'm also going to be using some uh, aluminium oxide paper uh, rough grit this is uh, it's, it's a 120 it's not that rough but um, it will help to take off some of the paint and, and give us the effect we're after uh, I'm also going to use some wire wool and some wax uh, that will be the final finish. I'll be putting that on with the wire wall and it'll, uh, it will lift the finish out and give it a, hopefully a pleasing appearance. So let's, uh, let's see how we go. First of all, I'm going to use this drill with the um, wire brush attachments uh, and I'm just going to try it on the lid of the box itself. Uh, I'll knock the power down to one. Um, See how it goes. Okay, that's looking quite good actually. That's the kind of effect I'm looking for. Um, I want to put a few scratches in it though, so it'll be a bit more aggressive and use this old uh, chisel just to rough it up a bit. Okay, so I suppose um, you have to get a bit artistic at this stage and just, you know, figure out which bits you're going to remove and which bits you're going to leave and I don't want to leave too much of it I just wanted to use the paint to give it more of a um, just an aged messy look uh, try a bit of the, the aluminium oxide paper That's coming up more like what, what I was hoping for. And don't forget this box is going to have the hardware, this is the lid of the box and it's going to have the hardware added uh, and I'm also going to cut some F holes in this or I'm going to attempt to, I've never done it before um, but I'm going to cut some F holes, you know, sound holes for it. Uh, so they, you know, with the hardware and the sound holes and everything else it should, the overall effect should be quite good. Right, I think I'll leave that as it is for the time being and move on to the box itself. And again, I want to give it, give it some character shall we call it starting to look much more like the kind of effect I was after. 
Um, I'll take some of it right back down to the, to the wood so we've got some actual wood properly showing through. <coughs> That's, uh, I think, the effect of that. Once it's all back together and everything, is going to be, it's going to be quite good. Yeah, with our. With our trim and the uh, copper knobs and everything. I'm also going to make a aged copper pickup cover. Um, well, that's the plan anyway. Let's see how it turns out. But uh, I think, yeah, it's starting to come together. Okay, so there's the box. Um, distressed. I've painted it. I've removed a lot of it with the wire brush. I've used some of the, uh, the sandpaper or oxide paper. Uh, and the next bit I'm going to use some wax and some wire wool to give it the finishing appearance, well, the finish. Um, let's see how we go. Okay, so I've got some wax. Uh, this is Bry Wax, which is absolutely brilliant. There are other makes available, obviously. Um, if you're interested in type I'm using I'll add a link in the description and I'm using some fine grade wire wool uh, actually I think it's medium grade wire wool and I'm going to apply the bry wax with the wire wool uh, and this will help to get it into the grain but it will also bring out some more of this wood finish and make it pop from underneath the wood that's the plan cloth here which I'm just going to use to buff it up after the wax has been applied. I mean you can let this dry before you buff it up and I may even give it a couple more coats yet but we'll wait and see. I think overall though if I show you this now that's the effect I was looking for. It's uh, it's looking rather distressed and quite old I think and that's exactly what I wanted so when we get the hardware added to it and put the, the guitar together it's gonna look um, old steampunk um, distressed and that was the effect we were after <laughs> 